go ahead and sit on the blue, on the blue, on the blue, on the blue, on the blue. Stop. Well, I'm here, and aren't we proud of our principal, Ms. Wilson? Doesn't she do a great job? Let's give her and the teachers a big deal. You know, I'm here because I love to read. Reading's one of my favorite things to do. And today, it's a pleasure. I'm going to have an opportunity to read one of my favorite books to you. How many of you all like to read? Raise your hand. All right. Isn't that cool? Yeah. How many of y'all read with your friends? That's cool. How many um, maybe read with one of your parents or grandparents? Great. Well, today I'm out here to recruit you to be in the superintendent's reading club, which means that I'd like you to kind of spread the good news that you're part of my reading club and that we're going to continue to read every chance we get, and we're going to continue to recruit other students to read so we can join our club too. And if you decide at the end of this you want to be in my club, I'm going to sign this book and leave it with you. And to show you want to be in my club, I'm going to let you sign the book with me, which means we're together, right? How many of you have a dog? I want to tell you about my dog. My dog's name is Mr. P, Princeton, Princeton, and he is a standard poodle, and he's about that big. Yeah, and I like him. He's my friend. So I like books about dogs, you know, because I like dogs. So today we're going to read... This book just ate my dog. This book just ate my dog. Now, have you ever known a book to eat a dog? No. Oh, me either. So I think you're going to enjoy this book, okay? Okay. Here we go. This book just ate my dog by Richard Byrne. Make sure you see all the pictures. Hey, when you're reading, let me tell you what I do when I read. I kind of form a middle picture in my mind like I'm in the story. And I'm thinking about it like I'm right there with the dog, with the book. And that's the way I keep up with what I'm reading. Now, what happens if you're reading while you're creating this mental picture in your mind, just like you're there with the dog and you're doing what everybody else is doing? If all of a sudden you forget what you've been reading, what should you do right here? Go. Um, read the title again. Go back and reread. Do it again. I do that. Because if I'm reading and all of a sudden I'm not there and I can't remember what I've read, all I do is think about what's the last thing I remember. Oh, I was at this part of the story. I go back to that part of the story and then I reread. This book just ate my dog. Bella was taking her dog for a stroll across the page when, look at Bella's big dog. That's a pretty big dog, right? Yes. Something very odd happened. What's happening? The dog's biting it ate all. Yeah, the dog's disappearing. Bella's dog completely disappeared. Gone. Out of sight. Wow. Bella looks puzzled. She's got a puzzled look on her face. Hello, Bella. What's up, said Ben. This book just ate my dog. Ben decided it was time to investigate. I don't 
Uh, he better be careful, hadn't he? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid for Ben. But Ben disappeared too. So who have we lost so far? Two ben and the dog. And ben. ben and the dog. I hope it stops there. Suddenly help zoomed in. What's it say? The dog rescue truck? No. I tell you what, the dog rescue truck better be careful, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not a hole. Ben vanished. So now we've lost three. The, the truck, dog, the dog, dog and, and Ben. <coughs> Things were getting ridiculous. I'll just have to sort this out myself, thought Bella. <laughs> she better be careful, hadn't she? Yeah. What could happen to her? She could disappear. Oh my gosh, that would be awful. But then, burp. So now who have we lost? Bella. Ben. The dog rescue truck. Have I left anybody out? Yes. The truck and Bella. Bella. And the police car. Yeah. And the fire and fire truck. Sometime later, a note appeared. It read, Dear Reader, that's us, it would be lovely if you could kindly help us. Please turn this book on its side and shake. Signed, Bella. Well, I don't quite know. Well, take a look. Turn it on its side. Help me. Should I go this way, you think, or that way? Or? No. Oh, it's upside oh, down. down. Yeah, let's try it this way. No, that's not working. Let's try this way. No. No, that's not working. Shake, shake, shake. Uh oh, look who's coming back. Who do you see? Bella and the cars. Bella and the cars. I don't see Bella. Everybody. Where's the car? Where's the car? Shake, shake, shake. And with one last little wiggle, Thank you, Bella side. Everybody reappeared. That was cool. That was cool. So they all came back. That's good news. It's And things got back to normal. Well, almost normal. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> upside down. Yeah. <laughs> What's up with that? Dear reader, please tell this book to promise not to be so naughty next time you read it. Thank you, Bella. What? Damn, All right, you like it? Yes! This is one of my favorite books. So what I'm going to do as part of our promise that we're going to be together on the superintendent's reading club, if you want to join and make a commitment to read and to recruit other readers, you can sign it and pass it around, okay? You go first, sign under me. And I've got another book for you that I'm gonna present because we've got a million book challenge and we're getting close. And what we need to do is how much is a million? And I'm going to leave that. I'm going to give it to Miss Wilson so we'll have it. And she can keep it right here in the media center. So here we go. Thank you. And if everybody would turn around. Thank you. If we could all turn around and face the other and get all the teachers up here with us.